Hey, it's Melissa. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, thanks so much for stopping by. Today's video is going to be January and February's empties. And I have gathered quite a bit of stuff. I can't believe that it's already March 1st. It's amazing how quickly this year is going by. So if you like empties videos and you'd like to see what was used up, keep watching and let's get into the video. So when I say that there is quite a bit of stuff, there is quite a bit of stuff that has gathered. And it's a combination of mine and Megan's. Let's see what we used up. So I'm going in no specific order. I will try and keep things grouped together and uh, we'll go from there. So in terms of hair care, we used up the Batiste um, dry shampoo and this is in the original scent. This is one of our standards that we use for dry shampoo, so we always have at least one or two backups on hand. Next is this R & Co Death Valley dry shampoo and we got this in a box. I really enjoyed this and I would definitely like to try some more things from R & Co because I enjoyed the scent. I really like the dry shampoo and I do think that I am working on a blow dry bomb sample that I received and I really like that as well. This is the Frederick Fakai the one and this was one and then some uh, exclusive marine complex. This one was just okay. It's a deluxe sample size. I don't know that I would pick up another one of those. This is the Oribe Dry Texturizing Spray, and that also is something that came in a box as a deluxe sample, and this one I did like, so I would pick that up again. Next up are some body wash products. This is the Skin & Co Blue & Capri. This came in a FabFitFun box, and it is shower gel, with notes of alpine rose, sage, wild basil, and autumn blossom. And this one I really did like, so that is definitely something I would repurchase. This is one of my favorite brands of body wash. Neep, I think is how you say it, Neep, I'm not quite sure. This is their Cheerful Mind Passion Fruit and Grapefruit with Essential Oils. I love this one, it's vegan. Uh, and it leaves my skin so nice and clean and smooth and I do have several others of these already at home. Then we have some mask products and actually I think that we should have more but this is all that's in here. This is the OK Cucumber Sheet Mask and these are sheet masks that they sell in CVS. Um, especially for you, liven up your beauty regime with this okay face mask and this one was for common cooling it was very nice I remember it fitting on my face really well and I definitely would pick up some more of those this is the so AE my collagen hydrogel lip patch and I like this one as well I think I might be doing lip masks wrong the gel ones, I just can't get them to stay on. So if you have a suggestion on how to make the gel lip patches, the lip masks work, please leave it for me down in the comments. Then we have this e.l.f. Hydrating Gel Melt Cleanser. And I liked this one. Completely empty. Um, it was okay. I do love a cleansing balm and I typically use one every night. Currently I'm using the Clinique Take the Day Off but my favorite by far is the Pharmacy Green Clean Balm. Then Megan used up this Morphe Continuous Setting Mist and she really likes it to set her makeup. She likes the sprayer and we have a backup of this one. This is the Physician's Formula Rose All Day Serum and that's one that I used up. I liked it. It's supposed to brighten and tighten. It's an oil-free serum. I liked it. I don't know that it really did anything. It's enriched with rose water to help soothe, calm, and hydrate skin. It was nice. It made my skin feel nice. I don't know that I would run out and pick up another one, but if you want to try it, I would suggest that you do so. Then we have some primers that I tried. 
Um, this is the Hard Candy Primer Dark Spot Corrector. Diminishes Skin's Imperfections. Dark Spot Correcting Primer. I didn't notice it diminishing anything and I did not feel like this helped my makeup, made it go on more smoothly. And actually, this is still pretty much full, but I am just getting rid of it because I'm not gonna use it. And then this is the LA Girl Pro Prep High Def Smoothing Face Primer, which I really thought that I was going to like, but for some reason, this is what it looks like. It's just a nice smoothing primer. For some reason, it pills. It pills on my skin, I don't know. Doesn't really have a scent. So there's still some in here as well. If you've tried this and you like it, let me know. I don't know if maybe it was mixing with some of my skincare products to make it pill, but as soon as I put it on and rubbed it in, I could see the little flakes coming off and nobody needs that. Then I have some more skincare in here. So this is the Garnier Skin Active Clearly Brighter Argan Nut Gentle Exfoliating Cleanser. And it smells like grapefruit, smooths and refines pores. I like anything that smells like grapefruit. I like this, it did have the bigger beads in it, but it was nice to exfoliate with. Uh, and it was just a sample size, so I would definitely pick that up. I like that one. And then the Sol Janeiro Boom Boom Cream. I used up that little one. I took it on vacation with me. I love this stuff and actually have a backup of it. So I would highly recommend it if you've not tried it. Then this is one of my favorite primers. This is the First Aid Beauty Coconut Skin Prime Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. And I've received several of these in boxes. This is the deluxe or a sample size. I love this. It's great because it's moisturizer and primer in one. It lets me skip a step. My makeup goes on beautifully and it's hydrating. And I will definitely pick this up as soon as I use some of my other stuff up. Then there are quite a few mascaras in here. Some are mine, some are Megan's, and some of them we're getting rid of just because they are expired. So two of my favorites are the Essence Princess Lash. This is the False Lash Effect Mascara, and I love this one. This is one of my favorites. The only problem that I have with it, and sometimes with the purple as well, is that it smudges under my eye. But not badly enough that I don't use it or will not repurchase it. This is the Sculpted Volume Mascara, and these are so cheap and they're so good. So definitely we'll pick those up again. This is the NARS Climax Mascara, and this one was okay. I liked it. Uh, I think that it was nice for my lashes. The brush is a little bit bigger, um, and I have, I find, that I have a hard time with the thicker brushes. But this one was okay, not fabulous. I wouldn't spend the money to pick it up, but if you like that type of brush, definitely give it a try. This is the, what is this? This is Amuse, Amuse Cosmetics Pro Mega Big Lash Waterproof Mascara. And this was, um, Megan's. So I think that she probably used it up. Um, definitely not her favorite. Her favorite holy grail is the Too Faced Better Than Sex. Um, so she definitely has a backup of that. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Length uh, Waterproof Mascara. And this is what the wand looks like. This again also was Megan's. It's just that tiny brush, the rubber, and she used it for lower lash line and she did like that. This is the Lorac Pro Lash Pomade. And this was mine. I think we got this in a box and it has a curved 
wand and I just could not get it to work for me. The way it was curved on my eyelashes just didn't do anything for me, so that one is gonna go. Then we have another Essence, the False Lashes Mascara Extreme Volume and Curl. That's one that Megan used up. And she did like this one. And this has a little bit of a curved wand, which I like. The bristles are smaller. So this one is one that we would definitely pick up again. Then the Tartiste. This is, I'm not sure which one this is. Lash Paint, the Tartiste Lash Paint. Uh, definitely one that Megan likes. It has the rubber, rubber bristles, but they're a little bit larger. And she used this one up. She does like it and would purchase this again. The last one, this one also was Megan's. It looks like she had all of the good mascara. This is the brush, and it's kind of like a little bit of an hourglass shape. This is the Marc Jacobs. Um, and this one is her favorite, aside from the Too Faced Better Than Sex. So this one is a little bit more expensive. She doesn't get it as often, but she does love it. Let's see what else is in here. Then I have some concealers that are either used up or going away. This is the LA, LA Girl Pro Conceal High Definition Concealer in the peach color and this was mine i didn't find first of all it has this a brush an actual brush it looks like this and you rub it in and this is the color i had a hard time using it i didn't find that it really did anything for me so i'm gonna let that one go this is the Instant Age Rewind Eraser, Dark Circle Eraser Treatment Concealer. And this is in the color Fair. And this one, I like the formula very much. It was a little too light for me and it's expired. So I'm gonna let that one go. This is the CoverGirl Outlast All Day Concealer in Light. And this was also one that I used. And it's old and it's gotten really liquidy. So this was the color. I'm gonna let that one go. And I really did like that one. It gave me good coverage. It blended out well. And uh, I liked it. This is the Wet n' Wild, very well loved, Wet n' Wild Photo Focus Concealer. And this is in the color light medium, I believe. Yep, light medium beige. And this one is expired, it's separated, it's kind of changed color, so I do have another one of these that I'm using. And then this is the Smashbox High Definition Concealer. It's an oil-free concealer, and this is one that Megan had gotten. Uh, it's in the color I'm not quite sure what color it is, but it's very liquidy. Even if you shake it, it says to shake well. Um, and she didn't really care for that. And then she gave it to me. I don't know if you can tell. Just didn't, I didn't like the fact that it was too liquidy and um, it didn't settle right. Okay, getting down to our last few things. Here are some more primers. This is the Benefit Professional Primer. This is Pro Bomb to minimize the appearance of pores. We both use this. We really like this one. Definitely would buy it again. This is the Smashbox 24 Hour Photo Finish Shadow Primer. That one was mine. I did really like that and I will purchase that again. As well as the MAC Prep and Prime 24 Hour Extended Eye Base. And I really liked this one as well and would buy that. Then I have a little sample of SK2 Facial Treatment Essence. That's what that one looks like. And it was nice, I used it uh, in the morning and at night. 
it wasn't really enough for me to determine what it would do, but it was very nice. And then last but not least, we have one makeup product, which was the Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lip in the color Daddy, and I broke the top, and it just, I can't even see, it just completely dried out. It was a very pretty brown color, but I ruined it. I hope you've enjoyed this empties video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. I love empties videos. I love to see what people have used up, what they liked, what they didn't like. So I hope that you enjoy them as well. I'll see you next time. Bye.